axle. <laughs> I was talking about bikes earlier and it's stuck in me head. I'm still on bikes. Uh, right, so we, we've got, you know, that pins it up there as it would have done in reality and fold that around over there. My radiator will still clear. I'm going to find the bloody hole. Let's put some air around it. Right, there we go. So there's loads of clearance under there to get those shackles in. And that will pin that front axle on securely. There's no glue there. Right. Held on by nails. And on the inside there, I haven't trimmed them off yet because I haven't trimmed them off yet. Um, Down there. So I'll just snip that end. It will leave that boxed in there. Well anchored. There we go. That's how I've converted the rear rear axle. I uh, cut the cut the drive shaft down, flipped it around, drilled the hole out bigger in the back of the the uh, Cadillac engine, and I've slipped it back together with a bit of length adjustment because the gearbox in this has taken it halfway across the floor. Um, this is still the engine. So I've put some of the ancillaries on it now. Um, I've got final detail painting and uh, stuff to do to it before I started straying again with the concept of, of all this being down here. The carburetors end up on them. I've pinged these back off. These are the inlet manifolds, which leave you central there. And I thought, well, with that so close to there and there, wouldn't it be nice to have a turbo stuck in there? And the, these are off a, an old Camaro kit. I thought, well, how about twin turbos on this V16 Cadillac motor? One for either side. So it may, may get a bit more throttle power. <laughs> Anyway, um, oh yeah, there's a bit more on the uh, firewall. See, I'm starting to give it a bit of depth with the sheet there. Show you that from behind. It's still a bit... Show you the reinforcement of it. You know, a little tag of pla uh, styrene, plastic. And just some of the trimmed down strip. The machine, I, I was saying the other day about trimming down plastic sheet into strips. This is the gadget I use to do that. It's got a blade in here. And you run it through. Um, I can't remember what the bloody word, word from is. But, you know, and it all just slide, slide the old sheet underneath there. I sometimes have a bit of packing in that groove. And I've seen other ones with inlays of these so if, if i was to buy one now i'd look for one with a strip of that in along the cu cutting uh area and that might well happen to this one even though it didn't come with it um but like i say it's quite easy then to run off a strip of not much more less than the five mil though because it goes a bit haywire but it does give you if you're doing stuff like this it will give you a, a good enough strip to make it out of because you'll you'll you're going to be working the edges to finish. It doesn't matter if they're ragged, you know, because you're going to finish the job off anyway. And they're not that ragged, that, you know, it's not like an old, old worn-out denim jacket. Ragged. It's just ragged. Um, what else was there? Oh, yeah. Um, a little while ago, if you're into hot rods, there's a, a site over here in England, a guy called Nick Pettit. Can you read that? He recently covered the... Vintage Hot Rod Association Pendine Hot Rod Races um, from Pendine Sands in South Wales. Awesome event. There's about 60 odd different uh, pre war hot rods, you know, 40s, deuces, loads of chop stuff, lo loads of dirt racing, roadsters. Absolutely brilliant hour of uh, racing there. So if you want to check that out, it's up to you. Apart from that, good luck to everybody in their builds, modelling. Uh, thanks to all my subscri subscribers. Uh, 
there seems to be something happening with David Chin and uh, Hobby Cherry, whatever, Hobby, uh, I'll try and find you again, but that keeps, I don't know what it is with my phone, every now and again it screws up people's thingamies and unsubscribes me and like a, a David Chin message went and I don't know where it went. Um, so sorry about that, chaps. I'll, I'll be back on on uh, that in about five minutes. Uh, see you all later. Have a good evening and etc. Touchy bye from jolly old England. Uh -huh.